Just being honest. Just being earnest. Name the show, bro. We in here. Yes. We in here, and we have guests today. Yes, we do. We got. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Please introduce yourself. Uh, I'll go first. My name is uh, Aaron Grayson the Third, also known as AG Three of High Score Podcast. Thank you for having me. Yes. High score 510. I'm sorry. I, that's my big city superiority complex. Oh, cr- I, I don't think I need to put a zip code. Everybody know me. <laughs> okay. This this is this is this is true. I, well, I knew I knew of you. Uh high score 510 podcast. And my name is uh Jared, aka DJ Art, with two T's for a double dose of that tink tink. The D is silent. <laughs> so it's just Jart. Tink tink. <laughs> he did not he didn't his voice did not sound like that. Um, I, before I the camera, no. <laughs> but um, some kind of R and B persona he's adopting that was wild. for our this show is, right now. I got uh, the sunglasses. Uh, um, the- here, I know, I know, in uh, <laughs> oh, all over, um, all over the country, yeah. they have uh, what do they call it? The uh, this, what is this? It's always the quiet storm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They, right. He put on the quiet storm voice. Yeah. He put on the quiet yeah. storm voice. He put on the quiet storm you know, voice. In Alabama, the quiet storm starts up at like 3 p.m. That's why they got so many kids. <laughs> 102.9. The you quiet know, It's your man, uh, Dirty Iron and Daniel Oda. Somebody should have told you. Yeah. Um, you know, we normally, you know, we have, we have, our, we have our guests, um, but we don't have guests really. We have people who uh, usually helped me start the show. The only guests I've, I've had a few guests. I, you know, we had the guys from uh, uh, Cage Against Podcast. Mm-hmm. We had them on. Um, but other than that, the only guests I've had, it was Fillmore Slim. And then um, yep. everybody else's that I've had on here has been people who helped me start the show. Okay. Yeah. Um, before everything, even before I met Daniel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, um, but you guys, the reason why you're on the show. Yeah. Every you know, people tell me all the time. People tell me all the time. Listen to this, Earn man, you got to have me on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all the time. What did you tell me? You that, that this is this this was you. I was uh, yeah yeah I'm the, oh, yeah I'm the one. You you DM me. Yeah, I DM'd you. You DM me mm-hmm. uh, after um, I I don't remember which one. Maybe the one where I was talking about. Um, Entrepreneur pushing your, your your art, your brand, and all your of that, brand right? And all that. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you DM me, yeah, and you said what? I said, love, we'd love to come on your show. We'd love to have you on our show. And I really felt what you were talking about with your, with that, with that, with that talk. Okay, that the, all the other stuff didn't matter about what I said, right? Mm-hmm. But what he said was, I would like to come on your show. Yeah. I replied, when? Just let me know when. Yeah. Just like I do with everybody. <laughs> All of y'all, yeah. everybody, every single person who's yeah. been asking me for years. I've been doing this show for years. Mm-hmm. They've been asking me to come on. And I tell them, hey, man, just let me know. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, they don't let me know. Yeah. Uh, but you did. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then you, and then you hit me with a date. Yeah. And then here you are. Here we sitting are. right here. I, I had to listen to you. I had to listen to your podcast to get refreshed because I listened to it when you first started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's hard to get refreshed. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, these guys. I'm mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Can we can we bleep that out? We gotta please? bleep it out. Can we bleep that out? The, oh, shout out, shout yeah, out to sponsorship. Oh, we gotta <laughs> got bleep that out. To too. Bleep that out too. Okay. Came full circle though. Came <laughs> we, full circle. We came we, full we've, circle. We managed to go our entire how many years of doing this without revealing that. Without me revealing that. Mm. <laughs> and and, well, and he, I, that was my rule. And, well, yeah. let me tell you. Let me tell you. you you think he drops in the R and B standards? He also drops in the dry snitch standards when he get on. Oh, the okay. So he so starts okay. naming names. I mean, I got ex girlfriends calling. So, so oh, husband's so, looking out for me. See, every not day only, right now. Not only will we bleep that, put the black bar over so you can't, you know, read the, yeah, read the lips yeah. and stuff. So, yeah. Hey. So to change my voice. <laughs> yep. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Shout out to Daniel Oda. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. The moral of the story is. You know, you want to get on the show? Just holler at me, and, and, and you can come on the show if you got something to talk about. These guys actually have a podcast where they talk about sports, and I haven't had a show in a long time where I had where we talked about sports. There've been times where we talked about sports for a little bit, mm-hmm. um, but I know how to mix the sports up with the uh, with the bullshit. So mm-hmm. um, let's talk about 
So Daniel, can you uh, show can you show the gentleman the picture? We are going to talk about the the craziest brown of all time. Oh, craziest brown of all time. Right, okay. craziest oh, brown of all time. And uh, who's the pictures on here? We have James Brown. We have Bobby Brown. Oh, wow. We have uh, who else? Do we have we have Chris Brown. We have Orlando Brown. <laughs> Orlando Brown. And we have um, Antonio Brown. Who? That's a collection of Browns. Right Antonio there. Brown's the latest, uh, you know, member Antonio, of this list. Antonio Brown has been recently cracking, and I hope he gets uh, well real soon. Yes, yes I yes. hope so too. But he definitely deserves to be on this list at this point. <laughs> yeah, he des- yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I mean, just for the for the sake of the Brown curse. Yes. Uh, now, now, um, <sighs> I know a couple Browns, and they've they've had their issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um. So, do, are you any any of you two Browns? No, no, no Browns in my family. No, thank God, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, you said thank yeah, God. Thank no, no, God. No, no. Okay. I got you know, there was a time where I wanted to be like Tim Brown a little bit, just a little bit. Tim, hey. Brown, well, Tim Brown's a good he Brown. Brown. Okay. A good Legend. Brown. Okay. 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 That. So we can't put the we could we can't put the applaud him, please. We can't put the Browns in a box. That's we right. We can't put the but Browns there is a in a Brown box. Curse, you're saying. The, yeah. Uh, so does Nicole- amongst the Browns who have the entertainment, uh, who want to be entertainment types, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah. Or I think, or who 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 takes the cake for you for you? Well, I would say, you know, the Brown Clan probably goes back to their owners as slaves. So that's something we must <laughs> dig deeper in before we just say all the Browns is crazy. The great. Oh, so you're saying the great uh, Jebediah Brown? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know, Jedediah, yes, uh, uh, Jedediah. Rufus Brown, yes. Calvin Brown, Cal- yeah. Calvin Cal- Candy Brown, Coolidge Othello Brown, <laughs> owner of the Brown Plantation in Tupelo, Mississippi. In Tupelo, Mississippi. Yeah, no, no, but I would say, um, I think, honestly, like right now, the craziest Brown had to be James Brown. Because James Brown, James Brown, you know, did shit. Okay. James Brown, you know, did some wild shit. You know that Negro was crazy, James right? James Brown, James Brown uh, um, uh, allegedly smoked crack cocaine. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, come on. Allegedly, uh, I mean, <laughs> hey, hey. James James Brown uh, 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 fired his pistol and, and, and went on a high speed chase <laughs> yeah, with no where, tires. To, well, the cops shot his tires out, and he and kept, kept going. going. Which is, and, and they don't want to. And, and they didn't want to. And they didn't. And shot, and, and, hold on. This is how hard James Brown was. They didn't. The cops didn't want to kill him because it was James Brown. Yep. Shout out. Shout out to the po- police out there in Georgia. Oh yeah. James and Brown that, that, <laughs> who didn't? Who didn't uh, light him up like a Hanukkah lamp? <laughs> that also prompted one of the greatest television interviews. Of all oh, time. Let's talk about some music. Yeah. Let's talk about music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, but, okay, so James, uh, it was reported that you were high. I'm high music, baby. Yeah. All, all that James stuff. Interview you right. Shout out to James. Amazing. So, yeah. Shout out to James. Yeah. Because I feel good. Who, who you got? Who you got, Daniel? Well, I said James Brown at first, too. But I'm, Aaron, I'm curious to see who you who said. Yeah. I, do it have to be off that list? Because I had another Brown in mind. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Who please, you got? Please go. Please go. My choice is Nicole Brown Simpson. <laughs> she had to be the craziest Brown because she stayed with OJ ass like she was getting her ass kicked all up and down Brentwood and Gretna Greenway. So my vote is Nicole Brown Simpson as the craziest Brown. She was hot though. <laughs> 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 that was such a curveball. I, was, I mean, I guess you could say she stuck to the brown curse, though. <laughs> she got cursed in the wrong way. It's the brown curse. <laughs> they on, thrived and she died. <laughs> I mean, she thrived before she died. She did. She did. She did. Forgive me for uh, laughing. <laughs> it's not too soon, is it? Forgive, forgive all of us. It's too soon. A beautiful night, woman. Uh, oh. You going places, man? <laughs> you okay, going? So, you going? <laughs> all right. Anyway, so at first I was gonna say James Brown, um, and then I was very much enlightened uh, by the craziness of a 
Orlando Brown. That's who I go with, Orlando Brown. Um, I got to go with Orlando Brown. I um, had no idea that he was the child actor in uh, Major Pain until, <laughs> until um, you know, Ern enlightened me on this and I went back and watched it. I'm like, that's Orlando Brown. And then, that's exactly how I felt. And then... Um, uh, and then you told me that he was in that Raven, that so Raven show on Disney. So he was a Disney kid, and then jumped to Orlando Brown telling that that Nick Cannon was was giving him dome as a woman, um, and then going on just high as a kite. And all these viral videos. There's a there's actually an Orlando Brown compilation on YouTube. Oh, I've wow. seen. Um, did they, did they mix it with auto tune? <laughs> the auto tune. That's the next. Let's make a beat. Let's make a song. You know what? He actually doesn't need auto. He he, he actually <laughs> Orlando he Brown's has a bars. Good, Orlando Brown's Orlando, a good rapper. He actually has no, bars. He's not bad. I've seen the couple of videos. He's actually decent. I think the line you're looking for. He was uh, in Walmart saying. Nick been sucking dick. That's what he That's was what in said. Walmart. I was like, what? was he in the mall? I couldn't remember where it was at. Dude, it you can hear the pain. Orlando, Orlando Brown, Orlando Brown has years in this craziness. Mm-hmm. He's been doing this a long time. And the thing that I think, this, the reason why I think Orlando Brown is crazier than James Brown uh, and Antonio Brown and, and Chris Brown and all of those guys is because all of those guys got some get back. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. James Brown was flipping out as an old man. Yeah, right. All the you know, he, all that other stuff was behind. You know, he had already built his legendary status. Yeah, yeah. Orlando Brown, <laughs> like you know, like Antonio Brown, he got a chance to you know mm-hmm. get, get some medical help, get get on some get right. Chris Brown always doing it, making a comeback. He does. You he, know, he always all, dancing. All of those guys, and, and uh, but Orlando Brown. <laughs> Ain't, he ain't even got his foot in, and he's still acting wild. I know. Bruh. He's still burning his bridges. Like, <laughs> he was on Dr. To this, Phil. To this day. Dude. Can, to this day. I was hoping. Can, can you show the video where he was talking about uh, Raven Savone giving him some um bop or whatever? He, yeah. Well, the video he said Raven Simone. Ain't she lesbian? He said Raven. Right, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He was Raven saying Raven Simone gave us moonbop. You know they was all young. They was, they were you know Ellen DeGeneres gave me some moonbop too one day. You know <laughs> he he's pretty. Yeah, like, I was kicking it with Aunt Hey. She gave me that. It was me, Ellen DeGeneres, and uh, Brittany Griner. <laughs> he's pretty. <laughs> so what do you mean to say, like Raven did when she was black? I mean, I told you in the first interview. I mean, she gave me. And then I gave her some. Uh, I didn't know he was a member of the Hansons. You know, yeah. uh, um, bop. Can I? You know what? I gotta give a special shout out to Orlando Brown. He's Orlando a Brown. talented brother. He yeah, went. I'm telling to you. Scatting, <laughs> yeah. Hitting notes. You know. He was he, a rapping to scatting. It, it's you know, cold hey, man, in we here. We were right about our last show or a couple shows ago, but. I got a new appreciation. I didn't see that video until just now. I, uh, he's got a bunch of them. <laughs> he's got a bunch right, of he them. He's acting insane. He's wild. How old out. was that video? A few years. Yeah. Shout out to TV or that one. Yeah. No, I, you know, I feel like Orlando. Can you, can you please bleep out him saying TV? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yes. I, I, I guess uh, Jared's rubbing out on me with this dry stick. <laughs> yeah, well, watch the words now, man. He's rubbing out. I don't know. Oh, the dry stick. Make the funny noise. It's supposed to be the dry snitch and count. Make the Jared funny noise it. every time we do it. <laughs> oh. It's supposed to be the dry snitch and count. count. Usually I'm the one on the other side of it. <laughs> leaving, leaving, leaving the podcast looking both ways as I walk out the door. <laughs> Yeah. So what, y- what y'all think? What y'all think about Antonio Brown? He can't be the craziest because it's it's actually I think it's kind of a sad story. There you go. Yeah, um, it is. Because you think about it, he's I don't know. He was at the top, right? He he's he, yeah yeah. He was yeah. he was he was an underdog most of his career. He's still like very talented. Uh, probably well, was always the, one of the, the best athletes, the, the best in the on league. the field. But he was he was on pace for Jerry Rice numbers. Yeah, yeah, but if you think about like his upbringing and. He was homeless at a time or whatnot. Apparently, his dad played in the league, um, but um, for him to like be, you know, go to a college where he wasn't one of the top recruits, mm-hmm. drafted like in the fifth round, you know, after like Emmanuel Sanders, and they already had a couple other like receivers, so he was kind of like a. Where is this? Western Michigan or Central Michigan? Central Michigan. Southeastern Central. Central. Central, Central Michigan. South Central. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I th- I, th- I think he had a lot to prove, and. He was able to prove it. This this motherfucker was in, uh, was on uh, 
what, what is the uh, the show? Um, Mass Singer. Yeah, in the oh, middle yeah, of the yeah. season. Yeah. In the middle of the season. I was season. like, yeah. wait a minute. It was like he like yeah, that was show. that was pre recorded though. Who? It's pre recorded. Okay. Antonio Brown. Antonio yeah. Brown. It, it was, pre, was it was it was it, it was pre recorded. It, it was pre it was pre recorded. Okay. Okay. Well, he's doing all this stuff middle of the season mm. stuff that's easily distracted. He's basically a star, mm-hmm. and then he has dysfunction and you know issues with Ben Roethlisberger with his with uh, within his team, and he goes to the Raiders. Now he, he gets himself cut. Runs is you know oh. falls out of thirty million dollars. He's pissing me off with that shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think it's sad. Like he, he's somebody who proved himself and got to that point, but whatever was you know pushing him to prove himself to everybody was also like some kind of just like either narcissistic or just like it's it's probably a little crazy bit of, ego. Probably a little bit of all of that. Yeah. Um, me personally, I think I know there's been other people that have, that have said this too. Yeah. That he hasn't been the same. Perfect. Since that perfect hit. Yes. Yeah, I agree. And uh, that's, he's, he started wilding out just constantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he was tight and there was nothing about him like that that anybody was talking bad about. No. And yeah. after that perfect hit, like, you know, maybe, yeah, that following season. Because I follow him. I follow him on um, Instagram. Yeah. And his eyes ain't well. No. Yeah. No. I think. You know, I, I've, I've, I've been there, Antonio. Nah, <laughs> bruh. That ain't it for you. Yeah, I think, but I think he's following the pattern, and I think he's he's hitting the notes that he. You th- you're talking about these. You're talking about these uh, apology interviews well, he's been well, doing. No, I know. I think there's a scientific explanation. They love to see. You behavior. better start crying. They love to see a Negro c- crying and apologizing. <laughs> well, you know, he might be crying like Luke Keekley, not crying for for real reason. Cause. No, but I think there's a scientific thing behind him, behind his behavior. Uh, it's probably it's solicited in the DSMR. On you know mental health issues, mm-hmm. you can yeah, find it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You got to get on it, that. I, it's classified as he is from Florida, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, you know we, we've said that we've said Florida, that man. we're all forgetting that he we've is just, from we've, Florida. We've said that. Well, I yeah. do agree with the perfect hit. I mean, he. But you know what? I do agree. He hasn't been the same, but he's from Florida. He's hitting that. My brother-in-law from Florida. <laughs> he hit the same projections. <laughs> oh, work. Same, yeah, 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 yeah. Say work. <laughs> Brother-in-law of Florida. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, and you ain't got to bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Because you, cause you, cause you didn't say his name. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Hey, if I did, you didn't have to bleep it out either. <laughs> <laughs> did you turn it up when I say turn the name? <laughs> turn it up. Carol was thinking he was going to talk about CTE. And he's talking about like Floridian complex. Floridian. It's, it's, it's birth CTE yeah. for Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Birth, it's You're CTE born with from birth. Mm-hmm. It comes from the Everglades. It comes from all, everything else. The air. Floridian. The humidity. Encephalitis. Something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. They, uh, you know, they, they shit, in, shit in their hands and wipe it on park benches out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, actually. This is the place that we, came we up. Co- we covered a real story about that. Wow. Yeah. That I think was she, a real I, story? I think she was putting it in buckets. She had it in buckets. Like, so, so she was uh, taking dumps in buckets. And wiping it on park benches. Yeah. And why, is, it was a school teacher who, who was mad was mad about something that, that the principal that did. That was a form of like uh, civic. Was, she did it before a kid's birthday party at, at the school. That was well, her civic protest? Just she, the did, most, she did it at the wee hours of the night. The she did it at the wee. Do. She yeah. did it at the wee hours of the night, and the, and the police came oh, while shit. she was doing it. This is the state that bought that bought us bath salts, not just being used for baths. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we yeah. can get high off you of these and this. get naked. <laughs> yeah. Run down the highway. Eat I'm, somebody's face. I might gnaw. Yeah. I might gnaw <laughs> on you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Twenty eight days later, style. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, yeah, I remember when he was first acting up, and I and I asked you about him. I was like, "Man, what's up with Antonio, Antonio Brown?" The, your first reply was like, "Dude, he's, he's from Florida." Nah. But <laughs> as time went on, it just it started to make less and less sense, and then started to make more sense when you th- I thought think, about the hit, yeah. the perfect yeah. hit. I think I think yeah. that yeah. I think that NFL fans can NFL fans, sports fans in general, can get a little carried away. Mm. Yeah. Not a little carried away. They get a lot carried mm-hmm. away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they be like, "Oh, Antonio Clown," and and saying all of this shit, and and yeah. and, and, and saying it to them on an Instagram page or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, man, you would not say that if you were standing next to Antonio mm-hmm. Brown. I don't care. You know what I mean? And 
Right. It, they just get way too carried away not knowing how much these athletes put into it. Mm-hmm. Like when you call somebody garbage, like I call players garbage that are on the teams I root for. Mm-hmm. I don't call I don't call players bums or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. If they on the team I root for, I call them that because mm-hmm. I'm rooting for them and shit. Yeah, right. But come on, man. These are these are these these guys and worked hard as fuck. Yeah, professional athletes, and he was one of the best receivers in the NFL. Yeah, well, he still is. I wouldn't say it around him because I don't want to get hit in the face with the bag of gummy bear dicks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! He call you fish yeah, head. Fish head. Call, he call, call me fish, fish head. Fish head. He, he kept threatening too. He was threatening to, to, to get to get to, to throw them on people. Yeah. What was what was he doing with those? I, I, I thought about He's telling that. He, he wanted to, he wanted Why does he have a he, bag he, of gummy bear dicks? He, he, he like, like, on, he on like deck, it. though. Probably he, for the Instagram. He liked to throw, throw it at people and say he got hit with a bag of, you know what I'm saying? I think Antonio Brown maybe is a, maybe maybe got him from a bachelorette party. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's going. I think Antonio I, I Brown know, probably have a bachelorette party every day in his He be plugging the company every time he he, he oh, says he something about it. He plugged the company. Yeah. I don't know what the company is. I wouldn't plug it. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of dicks. Ba- yeah. Bag of dicks. He's gonna yeah. buy a bunch of those. Uh, that's yeah. That's that's wild. Yeah. I, I, for me, like I think, in summation of like him being an underdog, achieving status, like being like, it was fun to watch him develop. So you're kind of rooting for him, right? Right. And to see him like become this personality that started being becoming bigger than the team, and then I think he thought he was maybe bigger that's than the sport. league. He thought he was like LeBron status. You know. Could have been. I think that he got brought down to earth. There's like one LeBron. There's like one. There's a very few. There's very few players that can be an icon for the sport or like that 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 lead player. And he was close to it. We compare it with all the quarterbacks. He was in the headlines. He was doing shows. He was likable personality. And then it just kind of flipped. And it's sad because yeah, you obviously think it's CTE or maybe just a, comp- a combination of effects of. Fame. The Raiders would have. The Raiders would have been a playoff team, and and in the in the or the pay or the Patriots or yeah. the Patriots would have been a much the better Raiders, team. The Raiders would have been better off getting Bokeem Woodbine to play can't get right. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> can't get I don't right. think Antonio Brown is going to get right. I'm sorry. Bo- I'm sorry. Bokeem Woodbine. <laughs> true Bo- American hero. <laughs> Come on, because that's the Bokeem Woodbine is a true Bo- American hero. Bokeem Bo- Bo- Woodbine. <laughs> that's what I think. Shout I out to Bokeem Woodbine. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to him. Hey, sponsorship. Bokeem Woodbine looks like the evil Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he looks like, like, like the older brother who went through some things. <laughs> <laughs> and the mama made Dave Chappelle use him as an example. Yeah. Like, hey, you seen your brother? Don't be him. <laughs> 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 put a Dave pic, put a you know put a pic, put a picture up of uh, Bo Keem Woodbine and Dave Chappelle and tell me Bo Keem Woodbine don't look like the evil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. their hands look the same now too. Anyway, so don't <laughs> man. Um, shout out to Dave Chappelle's hands sponsorship. Um, there is a uh, what is it? Oh, so this fool. Quick story, just quick aside. Oh, this fool. <laughs> this fool. Yeah, oh, this, oh, wow. this fool. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So me and him like like Bokeem Woodbine. That's like one like weird thing that we like we realized like because we were referencing him strapped joking. Yeah, you know, strapped. So strapped. He knows more Bokeem Woodbine references Snipe, than I do. Sniper I know two. a certain uh, a myriad of them, but like I just know mine, and and this is funny. Whatever, no matter. <laughs> okay. So we found out we where's this like going? Bokeem Woodbine. So this fool was like, man, I want you to watch this movie, and I was like, I was like all right. He's like, it's like it's a really good sci-fi movie. I'm like. I like sci-fi. I know he knows some good sci-fi movies. Yeah, you so gotta watch the sci-fi house, movie. Bro. Like two hour and fifteen minute movie or something like that. Two, two hour and fifteen. Over the house to watch this movie. He's like, man, you just gotta watch it. It's great. Like people, it's, it's starting to get buzz. It's about to blow up. The movie was okay. What, what, was, what was, it? was the movie? What was it? It was uh, like the host. The host. This motherfucker said it's a was tight it about, movie. It was it was good. Was it was it about like some disease or something? No, it was about like, like some alien host. Yeah, it was like and disease and take over, and take over body. people's bodies. It's like a disease yeah. though. But sounds familiar. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Bokeem Woodbine, bruh. Two hours and twenty four minutes into the movie, like I'm like Aaron, what? This movie is it over? This is like not good. It's he's, he's like it's it's okay, and he's like Bokeem Woodbine walks out. <laughs> at the, at the, the very, very last end. minute, it got two lines. Yeah, two lines. The last two lines of the movie. Is and then, and then you're, this, you're a big Bokeem Woodbine fan. This Negro never, had the nerve. This is this is this is, this is so uh, crazy. This, this is, is so unprecedented. Cra- this is o- unprecedented right here. He had the nerve okay. to say, "I told you the movie was good." Once Bokeem Woodbine came out, I was like, <laughs> "We've been talking for, <laughs> we've been talking for five to seven minutes about Bokeem Woodbine." 
I set, yeah, man. I set them up to watch a whole movie just for one minute, less than one minute, Bokeem Woodbine. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Bokeem Woodbine, I guess. I'm telling you, a real American hero, man. Hey, man, don't go chasing waterfalls. I like, he's in that video. He might shoot hey, your ass. Bokeem <laughs> Woodbine is in that video. Wait, which Tupac <laughs> video was he in? I ain't he, mad shot, at he, shot, mad at he shot Shaheem in, uh, in Waterfalls yep. video. Oh, then he, he got he shot. Up. Then he got shot, and I ain't mad at your video. Mm -hmm. See, Whoop, the nine lives of Bokeem Whoop. He, he had cultural relevance in my world, okay? He's played a pimp in about six movies. Good pimp in one movie, bad pimp in another movie. He played a bad cop several times. He was in a movie which was rapped the whole time. You, you two have enough material to make a Bokeem Whoop by documentary. You know? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Jason Lyric, wasn't he? Yeah, he was in Jason Lyric. He was the brother. He got shot there, too. <laughs> by his own brother. <laughs> yeah, shot by his old brother. I paid a lot of money for that shack. That was his folks said I paid money. a lot of money for that shit, but it sounded like he said I paid a lot of money for that shack. <laughs> I was like, Shaq? Did he say something about Shaq? Shaq? <laughs> was Shaq on the Lakers at that point? He was. No, I don't know. He was pre Shaq. Hey man, Illuminati. Right, so, so this, so this, so this is what happened just now. <laughs> um. We, we fell way off. <laughs> oh, yeah. That happens a lot on our show. I'm sorry about that. That's we, us. We, start, we, started, we started talking about Bo Keem Woodbine because I said he looks like the evil Dave Chappelle. And um, I completely forgot what I was going to say. So we're going to come back after this short message. We'll we be back. <laughs> yeah, sorry about, sorry about the Bo Keem Woodbine. <laughs> I'm um, we're back. Yes, All sir. Right. So we're back. Had to had to do that short break. Um, had to readjust the margins, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so we end the show on a on a good note. Um, so I can uh, get home and hopefully my lady will lay down and receive me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, the, well, you know, it, you said you said you have a lot of females listeners, right? The, well, the ones who respond the most mm -hmm. seem to be the uh, female uh, female listeners. Okay. Uh, they're they're really uh, supportive, uh, more so than the guys. The guys will tell you behind the scenes that they listen to it or mm -hmm. they send you like something on the secret side of the game. But the ladies uh, seem to uh, be the ones who listen to podcasts the most and uh, yeah. respond the most and yeah. ask the most questions. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Definitely. I'm, uh, hopefully, I'm not, you know, ruining it for you this week, you know, <laughs> unless you got some Vaseline you can smear on that camera over there. Nah, man. <laughs> you know, a you know, little old, little old huh? thing. How they made, how they made Michael <laughs> Douglas look younger. Hey, but this is, you know, use some Vaseline man, in certain goes, areas. Take the video, put it on Instagram, put, get a sticker, and just pin it on this Negro. Oh like, <laughs> <"Aw>, man. <laughs> That's what Eric said. It's just like Ving Rames. Just pin Ving Rames on this. Yeah, man. The, the, yeah. Use the old Ving Rames for me. <laughs> the, the old Ving Rames. The old Ving Rames or the old Ving Rames. I, I want the older, older Ving Rames. Like the like the Mission Impossible Ving Rames. Put the Mission Impossible Ving. Rames not on. not the ba not the baby boy one. Hey, hey, That's can, the one can, where can he looked like he was working out can, over fat. Can you pose real quick so we can put the uh, Ving Rames on you? He's <laughs> a mission impossible thing reigns. Did, did you get it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> what were you thinking, Ethan? Yeah. Ethan. I'm mean, about, about to have one of these brews. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, we appreciate you brothers coming through. Uh, we you, yeah. We want to yeah. get on this one. Uh, the Detroit man, uh, was this man, this Detroit man is recovering after having his tongue bit off by a uh, Ulet. By Ulette Wedgeworth, mm -hmm. age uh, what? She's age fifty-two. Go ahead, go ahead and speak. Go ahead, go uh, ahead. This Article. was, this was a case of a you know just a first date gone horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, took her out to dinner and everything. This is in Detroit, and um, this man uh, took a Ulette, You know, d drove her home, true gentleman, and uh, went in for uh, a kiss. And uh, notify she notified him that uh, yeah uh, yeah I'll kiss you but no, no no tongue though, and so he was like, all right nah, fuck it, and then just you know kissed her with a French kiss, used some tongue and everything, and she uh she bit this man's tongue off, and uh, there's it's, an it's, officer it's, that no. <laughs> she she a, told she told she she told him not to. That's true. Yeah, consent twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah, officer uh, 
Officer something said, uh, I've never seen a case like this in my life. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's not a it's not a normal thing when one uh, uh, decapitates something from it. <laughs> Or you know, dismembers a person's body parts. You know that's not normal, mm, especially wonder, with their mouth. My question is, what else has she bitten off? Then, if she wanted to bite a man's tongue off, well, that takes. Like, well, I can understand being angry and reacting, but also like that. Also, like it's like you know, you know, they say there's a difference between shooting somebody and stabbing them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mm. very personal when you stab. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. like I'm thinking like you biting somebody's tongue off. It's already already getting personal. So it must be very I, I, personal when you bite. Right, somebody. You right, gotta be a right, certain type of mentality. Right, right. To bite somebody's tongue off. I think that uh, she okay. First of all, that that dude <laughs> that dude is tripping for sticking his tongue in her mouth because she if 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 she said that if if she said that she. Don't do that. We could kiss, but don't stick your tongue in my mouth. That means that she doesn't like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. She told him not to. So so you don't know how she's going to react. You don't know why she doesn't want that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, most, most girls don't mind if they're attracted to you. Mm-hmm. But um, she, you don't... That She must have some, some, some crazy shit going on <laughs> to where she's freaked out by tongues. Yeah. Yeah. Something. And she was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it gave her the heebie-jeebies. Uh, yeah. Like it was some freaky stuff. And then she turned into a piranha. Yeah. That's how she reacted. My question yeah. is, maybe he didn't let her order a la carte on a date or something. Or or maybe she ordered lingua tacos and then he was like, no, nah, no, nah, you can't have get that. that so she couldn't get the taste out of her mouth. She, she had her mind on lingua, so she was going to get her some lingua before the day was over. Yeah, maybe he's that. probably smelled like pastrami. He, yeah. Maybe some heavy garlic. I, yep. don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just, like, because, like, you could, like, you could chop him to the throat like Liam Neeson. You could... Slap him. Scratch his you know, eyes. You know, you could just, or just grab his nuts and say, get your tongue out of my mouth. You could punch him, shove him away. You could say, "Ew, gross." You could just yeah. bite the tongue, and he probably would withdraw. Like, like, oh, like I said, it must be something about tongues. Something flipped her that she I was, was like, kind of getting you like, on this. That she was like, "Nah, you." I can't. She's traumatized. She's, she's got. She's traumatized. She's that got tongue phobia or what? That or she's done who, something like who, this before. Who knows? Oh. Somebody must have did something crazy you, with their tongue. Do you think it's possible there's an actual fear of tongues? I have no idea. Are you about to look that up? Yep. I appreciate. It. I, there is there is a phobia for everything. I friend. think this. I just know this. I know that this summer, if I travel around and try to visit all the baseball parks, when I get to Detroit, if I go on, uh, you go on go, all the baseball parks this summer? Uh, uh, no, you know it's always a dream. I doubt I make it, but it's always a dream. Uh, uh. But if I, you know, not all in one summer. I think I'm gonna <laughs> I think, divide I think it we up. all have that, Joe. Well, I do. I think yeah. I'm gonna try to divide it up. So like, if I do do the Detroit one. I know this that I, I'm, I'm just you know if I go on one of the, if I go on Bumble or something or whatever I, I'm just going cheek kissing <laughs> cheek kissing whatsoever that's all I'm doing cheek kissing you can be my future wife we only kissing and cheek until we move out of Detroit <laughs> <laughs> hey hey Earth to longia phobia the fear of tongues abnormal and persistent fear of tongues this is a real thing yeah real thing. yeah, yeah. What, is, what, what is she allegedly might have. Telangiophobia. Can you put that across the thing like that? It sounds like sounds like a a, and a, a city in uh, Washington. Those, <laughs> those. It is. Shout out, shout out, shout out to my cousin Jake the Snake Sebastian. I don't know how your fight went or if your fight has happened yet. Uh, I'm about to get home soon, um, so I hope it goes well. Play boy, do your thing out there, big dog. Hey, we are fans of MMA also, so shout out sponsorship. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't get over this line. It says, those who suffer from telangiophobia can't stand to be licked or French kissed. It's out of the question for them. So, would she order lingua tacos? <laughs> so she don't, she know, she ain't messing with none of that. No, man. I don't want none of that shit. Maybe that's the way you subtly get your French kiss. Like, you don't you don't let her know. You're like, hey, let's go on this date to this taco truck. And then you, t- I'll order, I'll get you some carnitas. But then you t- hey, put her just a little bit of lingua in mixed with it. Right? And you start slowly integrating lingua. 
more tongue into her, tongue into her, right? And then you just like, like, like you know, and then you watch some Shakira videos, like the halftime show, and then. You know, and then you just keep, you know, you slowly introducing the tongue, right? You watch a couple of Michael Jordan come, you watch the Michael Jordan documentary come fly with me. And then you slip her the tongue for, you see, the dude in Detroit didn't know this. Because he, you know, he probably was a Piston fan, so he didn't oh. watch Jordan come fly with me. So he didn't know there's steps to this to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have known there were steps. It's true work to be done. There was. He he tried to go too fast. Oh he God. did. Too fast, too furious. He, he tried... You're hilarious. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't recommend. See me. You know. I. I. I, I don't recommend uh, sliding anything to anybody, unbeknownst to them. Yeah. I don't recommend doing anything that we tells you it's, not to especially do. Especially that specific food that you just said. That will. That will tear your yeah. stomach up. Yeah. That. That will. Yeah, that might take her focus off the tongue being slipped that, into her that, mouth. That, <laughs> I agree. Just make sure you don't. That will have you. Not, not that will have you uh, busting a grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Now the, the grumpiest of grumpies. <laughs> come on now. The grumpy. Man. But once you've watched the Michael Jordan "Come Fly with Me" video, you can do whatever you want. Right. Slowly integrate. Not if not if she got telangophobia. Telangophobia, mm -hmm. but don't Michael Jordan but cure that? Or or a VCR, <laughs> for that matter. Yeah, she might not have a VCR. Well, she's in Detroit. I'm sure she's st they still rocking the VCR. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm sure they're still rocking the VCR. You know, they moved up to DVD yet. No, uh, DVD, I really slapped DVD, my knee. DVD is still... It's, it's still you can only get a couple of my best buy. That's, that's what DVD is now. Hey, uh, can we shout out uh, Detroit uh, and Michigan? That's where yeah. one of our most consistent listeners is from. Oh, um, word. So, yeah. shout out sponsorship. I don't know. Are you guys in the show. ASMR or know all about the ASMR with the sounds? <laughs> you you? Yeah, are you talking about when people be slurping? What? Like, I like to do a what little. What you about to do, this man? This is for Detroit, Michigan, a little Detroit okay, yeah, water. Yeah. Shout, out to De shout out to Detroit. Detroit and Flint. This is a little ASMR. It's me drinking water from Baird. That's fresh water. No lead. It won't catch on fire. <laughs> That's not me, Detroit. I got you. I just, I just, I, I'm I, very uncomfortable right I now. Just, I I'm just learned just about the most that. Shout out to you. That was very weird. That was I, so I, weird. I, 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 I was um, weird on top I, of weird. I, I, um, <laughs> I just got up on uh, what is it called ASMR? ASMR. Yeah, yeah. I just got up on that. Uh, that shit is crazy. What was it? Um, last year. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's very big and very popular. So so hopefully you brought a little something to my show. You better put that in the in the, in the little thing. <laughs> and that's gonna bring the Flint, Michigan people in. Right. They're not used know. to having that fresh water, so could, they really gonna be on top man, of that. You can lie to them and say it's Ving Rhames ASMR. Ving Rhames ASMR. It's not it's it's Ving, Ving, Ving Rhames drinking a glass of water. It's not Ving Rhames. <laughs> That'll be popular. That's popular on the south side of Detroit. He look he looked like a handsome bazaar. <laughs> 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 I, I only know Shut one bizarre line and I, I and I refuse to say it uh on on air. Oh man. So, that's uh <laughs> bizarre would have the, the, the weirdest stuff to say. Oh bizarre. It's strange so, so He looked like a handsome version. Where's bizarre like, from? If bizarre cleaned up from Detroit. Oh he's see, from Detroit. Another, see? This show, hey, I I can see the Popularity in Detroit growing up. Yeah, growing up. yeah. Detroit. Sh shout out to Detroit. I'm going to apologize to Detroit. Um, my first Instagram page, when I first went on Instagram and started it, I didn't know what to write. So I wrote a riddle. And it was, <laughs> you it was what came first in Detroit. The broken window or the rock being thrown. Oh. oh. <laughs> I finally took it off after a couple of years. I, I, I think... <laughs> I think it was a broken window, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say the broken window, but the yeah. broken window. That's how it started. <laughs> the abandoned house. Debatable. Yeah. You know, you could go to Detroit. I heard. You know, I'm from the Bay, born and raised. I've lived in other places, but I always find myself coming back here. Mm -hmm. And um, there's no place better in the world to live than the Bay Area. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. And um, I've come to find that uh, you can, or I've heard that you can buy a house in Detroit for twenty dollars. 
<laughs> I'm just playing. But I, I was you could buy. I thought you. I mean, I was believing you. Yeah, well, exactly. You got a friend who bought, <laughs> exactly. got one with no, the same no, money. No, I think you could buy a house for like you know like four thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It might not have a roof, but you can no, buy it. I, yeah. but, but you know, you could get you could get you some property and some land. Get some of that black mold in there, but you good. You got a house. I'm not down. I, with, I'm not down with the Midwest like that to be living there. I know. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the anywhere Mid- that 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 Eminem came from, I would be a little bit worried about. Why? I don't know. Just the 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 way they shot that movie, everything seems so dark and dreary. And I'm yeah, like, well, that's how that's how it is in them kind of places. But that's what I'm saying. Like they're they're giving you a lens. Of what the perception of the yeah. people that are from there is. I think they got casinos in Detroit. I they also got rocks and broken glass. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I can't be messing with the Midwest no, sh- uh, like solely based off uh, that crazy Christian lady that's out there roaming the streets. Oh, oh the oh, motherfucker yeah, yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, from Michi- she's from Michigan. She's from Michigan. She's from Michigan. Well, yeah. it's it's uh, Mi- suspected that she started off. In Wisconsin, and then got tased by a police officer, and then started a we, new life. We, we had the video on that. We we showed yeah. the video on oh, that. The video she on got that? tased. She she got ta- she got alleged she allegedly was tased. It was the same oh. woman, uh, in an, in a state right over. Yeah, yeah. We did timestamps and everything. We found mm-hmm. out this tasing video. Mm-hmm. She got tased for trying to give a police officer an exorcism. She was like, oh, like that, and then you got tased. <laughs> that happened in November of 2019. Then come around. Yeah. To January of mm-hmm. 2020. Yeah. One state over. She She's moved. One state over, cussing people maybe out in the Walmart. Sw- maybe swam across that lake. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe she'll make it yeah. out here by September. <laughs> oh, that would be tight. Oh. The, maybe the, you the get her to scare away of... some of them hipsters from your neighborhood. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, these hipsters are all heathens. They need Jesus. You stay in Berkeley? I'm, I'm in uh, near downtown Oakland. It's oh, like, okay. It's like in between West Oak and that part. It's the Grayson you know, District. I call it the Grayson District. Yeah. It's, my my lady used to uh, go over there, and, yeah, until I planted a bunch of seeds in her. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it down. That's that. That's that reverse gentrification right there. <laughs> yeah, it's the reverse. Right you know, gentrification. They start planting real trees. They start planting trees, but you came laying board seeds. I, I mean, uh, the, the 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 um. Your the, seeds went fertile faster than man, the ones in Oakland. They yeah. plant trees and half of them broken now. Yeah, yeah. Let me shaft and get the rebel bikes off my block. Yeah. They fucking up my parking. That apart that apartment costs about two thousand dollars more now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Them rebel bar uh, rebel bikes is fucking up my parking, and I'm about to get another <laughs> ticket. You talking about those scooters? Let me shaft. You can beat that. Out. I'm sorry. He's he's looking at the camera. He is looking at the camera. Did you just say your landlord's name? No, no, no. The mayor of Oakland. The mayor of oh, Oakland. Oakland. Somebody. Oh, Liv- Libby Shaft. So sorry. You know, part of our show is we always have like a, a complaint segment called our Cutty Corner Shoutouts. End of the show. You got to do what you do. Yeah. It is the end of the show. Yeah. And so we ran a little bit. But 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 Oakland, there's a bunch of these new Revel bikes. Remember they had those little uh, scooters? They got the scooters out and they put the Ford bikes with the stations and they took up parking. Yeah. Now they just got Revel bikes. There's no the station. Scooter, right? Yeah, it's a scooter. That, it's an electronic scooter. Well, electronic scooter moped. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. They park them motherfuckers in all kinds of odd places. So you, where you can fit four cars, now only two are getting into. And then, unless you have like a little Fiat okay. or a compact car, like you might be. So it's messed up the parking. And all I know is that nobody uses them because it's messed up the parking for three straight weeks because the same bike has been there for the same three I'm weeks. Roll with. <laughs> Like, man, if you ain't never rode a scooter before, why the hell I'm gonna rent one real quick? Right, right, right. Like a bike or the little, the little electronic scooter to drive. Yeah. It's like, hey, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's bring it in. We're good at that. So off the rails. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Jared got. We're talking about a woman who bit a man's tongue off, which went on and ran about Detroit, and right now we're talking about Lime scooters. <laughs> Somehow it's all Are Libby Shaft's fault. I don't know. I forgot. I was fixing myself in the camera. <laughs> you know, you remind me of Antonio Brown in that playoffs when you were doing that. Remember oh. when they won and, and, and they're about to play? They're about they're going on to play the Patriots next. And Mike Tomlin's in there giving the speech uh, uh, on how they go whip uh, them uh, motherfuckers. Yeah, he's on live. He oh, yeah. Just, yeah. You remind me of that. Shout out to Antonio Brown. I hope you do good. I hope you. I hope, I hope he gets better. I do. I'm. Yeah. You know, hey, we forgot about. Wait, since you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to go a little off rail, but you brought up Brown, and we forgot about Jared's favorite Brown. 
that she don't have the brown curse, but it's him and Drake's favorite brown, and that's Millie Bobby Brown. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You talking about that's Drake and Jared's favorite you're brown. About, you talking about seven from Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Eleven. My bad. Seven, eleven. eleven. Oh, shit, her. That's her age. My favorite brown. Yeah, she that's is. You and Drake. Because you, you and Drake can lie like eleven. Call me hot yellow like Drake. No, I ain't saying that because they might man. suspend the show. They might. We, 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 we did get banned Brown. off. Millie Bobby Brown, you got to give her time. But Drake, yeah, is, yeah. Drake, how you gonna Drake. tell? How you gonna say my favorite Brown is a is a, is an adolescent still? You gonna try and get me my name out here all fucked up, bro? Number one, Millie Bob Brown, loved you in Stranger Things like all the other childrens. Y'all was great children's actors. Shout out sponsorship. <laughs> You going you going to convince you about, 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 you about to get that Mike Fires energy out here, bro. You about to get me fucked up, man. Drake's your boy. Drake's like your boy. Dating sixteen year olds in Houston. Like, nah, nigga. Drake's your boy, so I figure you guys had the same Drake, Browns in common. Drake, Drake likes her in a foul way, though. That's, Does that's he? Don't, 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 don't say, don't say. Oh, we no, can't say bad. We you, can't you, say Drake. You can't say he likes her like that. I we agree, don't though. Bad. He DM'd the. Oh, what the hell was I don't. I don't. I don't know that. You DM. I don't know that. You see, me Ernie doesn't know that. It's no, not, it's very important. Right. I don't know that Drake likes her any type of way. I do and, not know that. And she is not my favorite brown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out like how that. You, you, oh, Drake sued me for no money. <laughs> just, I just call it how I see it. Ernie talks to call it how I see it, man. <laughs> man. He fancies himself as Bobby Brown of our podcast, so it's all good. The Bobby Brown? I did call myself a couple of episodes ago. So that's why I, he probably loves that. Jared brand. was hating on me, and I told him how I am the Bobby Brown of the podcast. Like, and, and basically, he route transfer. We new edition. He route transfer. I'm Bobby Brown. I'm ready to explode. And I said, I'm, I'm trying not to leave the group. But just know I'm ready to explode. You gotta give me some lines. You gotta give me some lines. Yeah, you know, I'm right. ready to start coming with my grown man acting. Yeah. Don't be cruel my prerogative and do right. some thug right. loving. Well, it's always good to do it's always good. It's always good to go. Pause. What? That's the that's the jaw rule. That's the jaw rule joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's, the, that's the that's the wiggly that's the wiggly jaw. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. wiggly jaw. Uh, the airport video. helipad. Yeah. yeah that, that, um, that was the building that blew up in um what is it, uh, Independence Day. Hey. Don't matter. I was. I'm ready. Bobby Brown of the podcast, <laughs> high score podcast. Bobby Brown. Well, you right got. Well, you gonna have to. You know, you gonna have to do your. Uh, you gonna have to do your side projects too, and then come come back. Come uh, back. He, he already got time. an idea between the sheets. I'm have to marry some uh, faux celebrity. That's that that seems clean, but she on drugs. That would be tight. That would be tight. A little show. Mm-hmm. Just between the sheet show, scour MTV's uh, old uh, TV shows, and you'll find some. Find some, find some, find some old casting. Uh, he was around when they were doing uh, a bunch of the, yeah, yeah. He oh, went the to real Cal. World casting, yeah. The real world was like getting a lot of kids from Cal, like yeah, you know, mid nineties. Yeah. yeah, so one, he, one of my friends went on it. I guess apparently he knew one of them. Yeah. He yeah. apparently knew one. He tried to I didn't know. He I said, tried to apparently knew I one of them, and then, and then a seen a couple of, of other ones in the in, in, in Blake's shout out. A couple of, yeah, that's the same. <laughs> I don't want to give up what they did. <laughs> we'll, Blake's. We'll but. stop real. <laughs> real world Hawaii. That's all I'm gonna say. One of them from Cal was in Blake's at night. Hey, I, I almost bought that dude's t-shirts too. He's over at uh, Mad Oak. I used to see one of the big hair dudes be around all the yeah, time. Dude, oh, yeah, yeah. You saying is this the same dude? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Malik, name? Malik, yeah, yeah, he sells. He's, he sells. He has a t-shirt he's, company. He's selling them at the uh, at yeah. bars and stuff. Yeah, he, he was at Maddo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah, man. Well, I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. You know, this is my first time being a guest. Mm-hmm. I feel like you starting something. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, you got me feeling like Nate Dog in here. Like this to start something new. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm a Nate. Dogg. I'm just gonna be on people's podcasts now. Hey. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be good at it. No, you definitely the Nate Dog podcast. <laughs> well, you're good at what you do. No, oh, thank you. You definitely, you definitely Nobody. good. You definitely good Nobody at what you do. You, 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 you I'm not talking about me on podcast. I'm just saying. No you got the glow, like like Bruce Leroy. <laughs> I got the glow. Like Bruce Are you sure? Leroy. My glow might be like showing up right now, and it's starting yeah. to fade out. <laughs> Who's the master? <laughs> you got the Bruce Leroy glow. I got the show enough. I'm starting to blink right now. I'm like, we've been doing. We've been. Do, we. I've been at this for a long time. Yeah, just 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 grinding and grinding and grinding and mm-hmm. working different. So we come up with three, four, five, six different ways to do the show. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And um, the, um, the the pioneers and the, and the people who really gave me the game told me to just keep going. You, you, you're on to something good. Just keep going. Just yeah. keep going. So, you know, that's what... Yeah. So that's what we all need to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, no, as old people in this game, yeah. um, and uh, this this the young buck right here. He make he make incredible music, and he's young, so he can just continue to continue to make it, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. And he, he ain't got to worry about anything, else, you know. Mm-hmm. He ain't got to be worried about too old to get on and nothing like that. Yeah, they're young. They know the internet. You got to know how to use the internet these days. Don't know how to use the internet very well. Nope, nope. nope. Too accurate. Old. Gotta learn how to gotta learn how to work that thing out. Yeah. Well, you know, on a, on another note, like it's like it's really fun to be here. It's really cool to be here. It's always fun hanging out with this guy and just talking, shooting the shit. But then also like just you know dynamics of conversation are always like just fun, engaging, beautiful. But like also like appreciative to you because I remember when we were trying to figure out our shit. You know, what I'm saying you you were more than willing to like you know what I'm saying like take your time with mm-hmm. us. Uh, mm. and actually talk to us about like kind of like well like ask ask us what we were doing what our idea was and then kind of give us your take on what you had been experienced because you were like i also have my own so but then like been seeing your stuff pop up over the last like six eight months this past year and uh see like your progression from being only audio now to doing like videos that are like well produced and like like what easy to watch and enjoyable it's so all, it's, it's all about yeah well it's tight. W- with us so far it's been about just um the the interaction and most of the yeah. interaction has been coming from social media yeah um we're we're, we're new to youtube now mm-hmm. we're new so mm-hmm. we're just, we're trying to get our feet up under us we might do some type of telethon have you guys come on and right. you know have my old, have my whole old crew mm-hmm. in and i'm trying to do a telethon and be on like somehow do YouTube live or something like mm-hmm. that yeah know? we've talked about that yeah. all types of stuff just to get you know mm-hmm. try to get the try to get this thing uh, up and rolling and uh, I appreciate y'all for coming through and and, and telling me hey I want to do the show and actually coming through and doing the show yeah yeah you, yeah. you hear me yeah. you hear me guys <laughs> <laughs> and listen yeah all my friends all our friends yeah what he said too <laughs> So this is Dirty Iron Daniel Oda. Somebody should have told you. High score. 510 podcast. We out. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.